hello guys hope you all are doing well so in continuation to our last lab uh, we'll do another lab on uh, pbf today wherein we will see how we can distribute the traffic across both the isp and achieve failover you know so what we are going to do uh, in this lab is um, our topology is same as the last lab our uh, main intention to is to get reachability from 192 168 10.100 to 5.5.5 5 5. but this time uh, what we are going to do is for the http traffic we are going to route it through isp1 right and all other traffic apart from http should go to isp2 okay so this is basically we are going to see how we can do this okay and uh, then yeah another thing uh, we are going to see is like let's say in a case that this isp1 goes down right so what we want is http traffic to fail over correctly to this isp2 so th these are the three cases we are going to do in lab today okay so let's start let's see how it goes okay so this is where our uh, last lab configuration um, it's already there so let's reset all the counters and have it. okay so the first change that we are going to do is on our pbf rule in the last lab that we have created saying like any traffic that would be coming from this inside zone that is coming from this LAN going towards this this one right any traffic coming from inside zone <coughs> for any source going to any destination but this time like what we are going to do is we are going to say that any destination with service of HTTP forward it to ISP one okay so that's the only change we are going to do in pbf rule okay let's reset this rule and commit in the meantime as commit gets completed let me log into this windows box so this is one of the windows machine that i have deployed here it's a windows box right so now what we are going to do is we are going to access now what we are going to do is sitting at this box we are going to access http colon slash slash on 5.5.5.5 so basically what I have did is this router I have enabled it for HTTP service it is configured as a HTTP server okay so now as we go here let's type in http 5.5.5.5 .5 .5 .5 .5. 
it will pop up for login and we logged in there now what we need to do is we need to check if this policy based forwarding rule is getting hit as we can see now it's zero let's refresh it now you can see it has turned down to four which say is that which says that this pbf rule is getting hit another way we can check is this nat rule which also say that is uh, traffic is going through isp1 as you know uh, nat rule from the primary isp is getting hit fine so this is the first thing that we wanted to do second is what we will do is we'll run one icmp test from this pc again to 5.5.5.5 but what we expect this time that it should go to isp2 because on our PBF rule, we have mentioned that only HTTP traffic should go through ISP1. Okay. So now let's see uh, when we run the ping, how it goes. Okay. okay so here is our windows box now on this box what we are going to do is run ping icmp 5.5.5.5 and we are seeing the response back so to verify it would be the same thing this now when we refresh on this one we should see the hit count has increased here which does say that secondary nat rule is getting hit okay right now our third case that we wanted to look at is the failure of this link so as we have a pbf rule configured here with monitoring enabled so ideally if this primary router fails our HTTP should go through ISP2 right so to achieve that what we will do is on primary interface uh, ETH 0 slash 0 is connected to Palo Alto right so we, what we'll do is we'll just take that interface down okay and in the meantime let's log in to firewall right so we will check what the status of the pbf rule say so with this command we can see that the status of the pbf rule it's down now so ideally now it should route the traffic through this way okay so let's check on it let's go to our windows machine 
yeah it's this one open up new tab and do HTTP on 5.5.5.5 okay so the page has opened up uh, let's go to this one now ideally on this NAT rule this hit count should increase yeah you see we can see that it has increased to four uh, sorry six here which says that now the HTTP traffic is flowing through secondary ISP and now if we check the PBF rule here if we still refresh it should remain the same as there is no hit count to this PBF rule okay additionally uh, some CLI commands that we can use okay this is not active let me trigger it again So we can see this so session ID 881. So here we can clearly see that NAT secondary is getting hit for web browsing. So using this CLI command also we can verify that the traffic is flowing through you know uh, secondary ISP or not. Okay. Okay guys thank you for watching my videos if you like my videos please do subscribe and share it gives me motivation to create more videos thanks for your time you have a good day bye